most of what's going on in universities. So the annual budget of that institution is equal to about what we are willing to spend for three weeks in Iraq. So the problem is not a lack of money, and it's not a need to make profit. It is a pure question of what people value. Alan, if I can interject, and we, and we are out sure. of time, but let me make one observation on top of that, which is there's a, a small part of the National Science Foundation that actually does something that's, in my view, very, very important and maybe very relevant to you all, and that's the informal science education part of the National Science Foundation, uh, whose funding has not increased, even though they believe that the quality of a lot of the work out there that they have been funding has increased dramatically. Their, their funding has not increased in a number of years. Um, and I would encourage you to take a look at some of what's going on in terms of the whole notion of citizen science, the part of STEM education, what's called STEM education, um, that is not so much about increasing the number of scientists, but what Alan and others have referred to earlier as literacy, the notion of people being able to converse in an informed and, and thoughtful way about scientific uh, uh, questions. That part of the equation is still being neglected politically, and it's still, and, and it's still not being funded in important ways. And I would uh, suggest may have some relevance to those of you who want to do uh, both entertaining and educational kinds of uh, services around science concepts for kids. Um, but we are out of time. Um, great conversation. I want to thank the panel. Very thoughtful. Thank you for your questions.